You know, if you think about it, Robocop actually has the best pickup line ever. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. I think I'm gonna use that. <laughs> What's happening, film friends? David the Film Junkie here, bringing you a film review of RoboCop. That's right, the RoboCop reboot, remake, whatever the hell you wanna... RoboCop. And of course, RoboCop stars Joe Kinnaman, Gary Oldman, Sam Jackson, uh, a couple other faces, Michael Keaton. There you go. And uh, it's directed by somebody who decided to take this jaunting task of bringing RoboCop into the 21st century. And we all know the story of RoboCop, or you know, the original story is about a cop who, well, on a bust, he messes with the wrong people and he gets shot to shit. I mean, he gets blown away. <laughs> he gets blown away by the dad from that 70s show. Dumbass! So then these doctors or engineers or robotics experts, of course, take him and make him into a robot so he's half man, half machine, and then send him out on the streets of Detroit because Detroit is just a shithole. Hmm. But in this one, they decided to revamp the story. They changed it up a little bit, which a lot of fans of the original are gonna go, oh my god, why would they do that? Of course they're gonna do that. It's a remake. If you just redo the same thing, you're gonna get Psycho. Did you see the remake of Psycho? Fucking horrible. This one really taps into what is kind of happening now with drones and everything, and because basically what's going on here is they're sending robotics, like the big robots as well as the man-looking robots, over to foreign countries to keep the peace, even though everybody has to like stand there like this. I mean, it's a overall it's a robotic police state. But it's not accepted in America, obviously. We don't want that. Just like we don't want drones flying around here. So we don't want that and what Michael Keaton does, he's the CEO of Omnicorp and he's like, okay, we gotta put a man in there because no, everybody is afraid of having a robot. They want somebody with emotion. So we're gonna put a man inside a robot and here we go. What did I think of Robocop? I enjoyed it. I really did. It's a good sci-fi flick. I actually, it could stand alone. Like if there wasn't, you know, if it wasn't a remake, I mean, it could really stand alone as like a really good sci-fi flick. The action was great. I mean, it was nice updating it to now, you know? I mean, it, it definitely needed an update because, I mean, the original was like pretty campy, pretty cheesy, but it was funny, it was gory, it was... And that's a lot... A lot of people are going, oh my god, it's PG-13 now, that sucks. But to be honest, there's actually some pretty gory sequences. They even show like him, like what's left of him and it... There were scenes where I, and I was just like, I can't look at that. The actress did great, the guy who plays uh, Joe Kinnaman or whatever the heck his name is, I've never even heard of him. He did all right, I mean, he pulled it off. I mean, it was pretty cool, he did the manner. I mean, it's kind of hard to explain. I mean, you have to act like a robot. He did it pretty well, he was badass, he was what, you know, doing everything like that. Gary Oldman, Gary Oldman did great. There's a lot of focus on Gary Oldman's character actually, because obviously he's like the main doctor or engineer or whatever you want to call it. And uh, they, they put a lot of focus on him, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, Michael Keaton's in there. And you can't go wrong with Michael Keaton. And then, of course, the little bat geek inside me just goes, Oh, my God, it's the old Batman and the new Jim Gordon together. Sam Jackson, it's Sam Jackson. I mean, he's like the host of this political show and he really is trying to strive for robots to be in America and he has some pretty good uh, lines of course is Sam Jackson I mean he makes anything his pretty much now one thing that's really different about the remake too is well in the original when he got you know put together as Robocop he just basically was his brain was wiped out like it was rebooted it was refreshed it was back to factory so he was just a robot and then all of a sudden he started remembering shit like huh, 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 huh I have a wife I used to bone this time he actually wakes up and goes what the fuck oh my god what did you do to me it's kind of cool and then of course he goes and visits his wife and his kid and everything like that which they were trying to capture some emotion with that and that kind of dragged slightly that was kind of like and eh, do we need this I kind of want the old way so I started accepting it but I still was kind of wishing they still stuck with the whole he's just a robot and he's kicking ass and then all of a sudden he just starts remembering shit and goes wait a minute I'm a dude, where's my penis? They had some pretty cool like training exercises too and uh, a lot of the other critics were saying like uh, that I saw other reviews were saying that that kind of dragged on a little bit but I actually liked it because when they showed like him like doing the simulations he would actually like when it came to real shit, it would actually see everything and be like, all right, simulation, there's a bad guy there, 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 there. It was pretty cool when they showed what he was seeing because he can access any of the CCTV feeds. He can access computer data just by instantly and he could find somebody real quick just by, you know, locating him through like a feed that's within the city. Another thing this movie lagged was a villain. There really was not a villain at all. In the first one, of course, 
had the dad from that 70s show and he was a badass. This one really didn't have one, so it was like there was, there was with the lack of an antagonist, really didn't allow for much of like a, you know, a good guy, bad guy flick. It was just kind of like robot guy remember shit and then they're like, okay, make him more robotic and then, okay, and he's remembering shit again. It was just like, well, let's have like a strong freaking badass leader dude. It wasn't really there, but overall still, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, yes, it's a PG-13 rating, but like I said, it's a it's a really well done action flick, action sci-fi flick. If you like the original, give this one a chance. I recommend it. If you like sci-fi movies in general, you'll get a kick out of this one. I'm not, not gonna lie. I mean, I enjoyed it. I actually thought it was gonna be, I was, as I kept seeing commercials for it, I was like, all right, this is gonna, this is, I don't know. But like I said, I really enjoyed it. I recommend seeing it. If you if you like sci-fi, if you like the original, go check it out. If you did check it out, let me know what you thought about it down below in the balls area. And also hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And also visit filmjunkie.com for movie news, these film reviews, as well as trailers and all that fun stuff. Well, all right, guys, I am David, the Film Junkie, and I brought you a film review of RoboCop. <sighs> yeah, Hollywood's just gonna remake everything, guys, like you said. But, you know, like I said, it was updated nicely. It actually tackled, it was more political, you know, because of the whole drones thing. Because that shit's happening now. I mean, we're sending drones all over the place over there to man stuff and also blow shit up and kill people that are not expecting it. But And then they talk about drones being used here, which they have already have been used here a couple times. Uh, but anyways, yeah, police state, here we come. <laughs> I want to be a robot.